Okay, for our final challenge, we're gonna we're tasked with uh, give a devastating zero star feedback to a store, uh, which links to improper uh, input validation. Um, so this one is gonna be probably the most fun, I would say, um, out of them all. Uh, we're gonna leverage burp to. Um, handle this and we kind of covered burp earlier so let's take a look at uh, leave it zero star feedback you have to have an account logged in which I do um, and you have to go ahead and go over to uh, the customer feedback area now um, my favorite way of doing this right you'll let's look at the slider first obviously we do one two three four five solve the CAPTCHA and um, submit in the request. Uh, however, uh, notice how we can't leave a zero, right? It's like forcing you to put at least a one. Um, so to get past this, uh, I'm going to go ahead and launch Burp Suite. It's coming up on my other screen. I'll pull it over here as soon as it gets going. And it'll take it a minute or two to go through the whole process. Okay, so I have a burp. Uh, the previous screen was um, temporary project I picked. I don't want to show you guys my other projects. Uh, start file, use burp defaults, and it should spin up a project for me. Again, it pulled up on my other screen, pulling it back. All right, so uh, like previously, we kind of did get introduced to this, uh, the proxy uh, intercept and also Burp's built-in browser. So in order to evaluate this traffic, I have to open up the same link in Burp Suite's browser. At the same time, I'm going to pause this. Uh, I shouldn't have any live tasks going on. And we have the Burp. Uh, sweet browser pulled up. I'm going to open up my web app and I'm probably going to have to log back in, right? If unless they're Let's find out right now So right now the request is getting held up because it's stuck in my proxy. Let me forward that along And there we go. So now I'm in here As you can see I don't have an account logged in so that's kind of cool, right? Now I'm in anonymous so I don't really have to be logged in I just had to figure out how to get over here okay now let's see what happens I disliked everything it helps if you know how to spell uh, the rating is what's this rating one two one. All right, we'll just try to leave a one because ultimately our goal is to um, leave a zero. So it doesn't really matter what we're putting here. Uh, we are anonymous, which it does look like it's letting us put an anonymous uh, feedback. And now I have to solve this CAPTCHA. Oh, God, I hope I remember my order of operations correctly. Uh, five. I believe it's <laughs> It's funny how, how you forget simple mathematics after... Uh, uh, being out of it for so long, but uh, was five minus seven is a negative two plus a four. Uh, hopefully that equals two. If not, I'm gonna do this video over again so I don't look completely stupid. And I'm gonna go back in though. I'm gonna turn my intercept back on to stop that request before it gets to the server. So click submit, and we see the request getting held up. Now. Uh, as we can see, CAPTCHA ID 2, CAPTCHA 2, comment everything I didn't like from Anonymous. And here we have the rating being passed. Well, let's see what happens if we get rid of that one post a zero on up, right? And let's forward that request. And if everything goes right, I should get that devastating zero feedback. And I'm just forwarding this all along. And 
I should have already passed, so I'm going to just go ahead and turn my intercept off. And let's see what happened. Go back to our scoreboard. And it looks like we got it. See that? Great. And that was it. Um, so I'm just going to go back through and review quickly. Um, you go to the, and this is kind of interesting too, right? Because I shouldn't be able to see any of this unless I'm logged in. So I'm logged in as anonymous. Uh, customer feedback section. I am anonymous. You could also get there by going slash contact. Uh, you put in any comment that you want. It doesn't matter what you put here as long as you know where to adjust it. And then we're going to do order of operations again. Uh, 5 times 10 is 50 times 5 is 0. And I'm going to turn on my proxy intercept to capture the request one more time. Submit. I see the request coming through. Uh, and we see rating of 5. Bounce that down to 0. Forward that along. I could turn the intercept off now. And I left my devastating feedback. So it registered. Thank you for your feedback. So that's it in a nutshell. That's the first 10 challenges. Now if you move along, um, again it only says I had 3. I reset my my um, my account. But there's so many other challenges for you to uh, go through. Some of them are rated higher than others. Okay, uh, We could turn this one off since we completed those. So now you would just focus on these. I really recommend that everybody uh, goes through each one of these. Uh, they do get more difficult as time goes. Or as you go through. Forge coupons, forge signed Java web token, imaginary challenge. Um, that one's interesting. I don't recall this one. Unfortunately, this challenge does not exist. Uh, okay. Um, so, basically... Um, Really recommend going through all these. Uh, they do contain a lot of the OWASP top 10s uh, within the juice shop. So injection, deserialization, miscellaneous. And I encourage everybody to continue on if you have issues. Uh, contact Glitter in the community chat or post a GitHub issue. And that concludes hacking the juice shop. Thank you.